Is Vladimir Putin about to unleash bombshell satellite imagery that reveals the US government's role in carrying out the 9-11 attacks as punishment for the White House's role in supporting Kiev and encircling Russia? That's the buzz on a number of conspiracy websites who cite a Pravda article which claims, quote, the evidence will be so convincing that it utterly debunks the official 9-11 cover story supported by the US government. The article also asserts that the release of the evidence will lead to irate citizens staging mass uprisings in US cities and a total loss of credibility for the United States on the world political arena. But of course, the story is complete and utter bullshit. First of all, Pravda is the official mouthpiece of the Russian Communist Party and routinely publishes bizarre and unproven theories in a bid to whip up anti-American fervour. But even Pravda appears to have abandoned the story with the original link returning a 404 error. But this story only really got traction when it was translated and carried by Veterans Today, a conspiracy outlet that previously reported the equally believable story that American and Chinese naval forces had launched a full combat operation against invading extraterrestrials off the coast of Northern California. Even the founder of Veterans Today admits that 30% of the content carried by the site is, quote, patently false. About 30% of what's on Veterans Today is patently false. About 40% of what I write is at least purposely, partially false, because if I, if I didn't write false information, I wouldn't be alive. Furthermore, the only time Vladimir Putin was actually asked about 9-11 being an inside job, he responded by labelling the idea, quote, complete nonsense, adding, only people who do not understand the workings of security agencies can say that. It would be impossible to conceal it. Given that statement, it's somewhat unlikely that he's about to release such evidence. In reality, the real 9-11 scandal that this hoax serves to distract from continues to be virtually ignored by the mass media. Namely, the redacted 28 pages from the 2002 Senate Select Committee investigation into 9-11, which according to Bob Graham, who led the inquiry, quote, point a very strong finger at Saudi Arabia as the principal financier behind the 9-11 attacks. In addition, Zakarius Musawi, who is serving a life sentence for his role in helping to plan the 9-11 attacks, told Philadelphia lawyer Sean Carter, who is representing 9-11 victims against Saudi Arabia, that the names of a number of senior Saudi officials and members of the royal family appeared on a list of Al-Qaeda donors that he helped create. The US government's efforts to bury the Saudi connection to the September 11 attacks is the real 9-11 conspiracy not baseless claims about Vladimir Putin revealing 9-11 evidence being carried by disinformation websites and Pravda. There are also dozens of admitted false flags that are fully proven and documented. If only some of these self-proclaimed conspiracy theorists could get as excited about genuine cover-ups as they do fabricated myths and debunked claims. Check out the other videos, subscribe to the channel, I'm Paul Joseph Watson for Infowars.com.